Hi, in this video I'm going to go over a final uh, filter for uh, Picture Lab. This is another blur filter, but this one uh, is a little bit more complicated. Um, let me show you what it does first. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. We'll go here and do, oops, sorry, blur two. So this is pretty subtle, but uh, perhaps you can see that uh, what this does is it very slightly blurs. You can see this easily in this area, and then over here how this is blurred. If we zoom in, uh, this is in the top left corner. Let's make sure this one is too. Zoom of 500. So you can see how uh, we're losing detail here. Right? Like this, this stuff right in here is pretty much washed out here. Um, and what's happening is I'm averaging the the nine pixels around a, the sorry the eight pixels around a pixel, getting their average <coughs> of their red, green, and blue values, <coughs> and then using that to adjust the red, green, and blue values of the center pixel. Then I I save that adjusted center pixel into a matching position in a copy of the two dimensional array. So I don't actually change this, the original array of pixels, two-dimensional array of pixels, because I want, I don't want that, the change I made to a pixel to be picked up. Like, so when I go to modify this pixel, I don't want this one to have already been modified. Notice that I'm not using this, the approach, or you'll see that using the approach I'm using that I don't treat any of the border pixels. I start from a pixel one in and one down and end at one in and one to the left of the rightmost column. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the code. So here's blur two. <clears throat> so the first thing I do is make a new a copy of uh, the picture object using this picture object as the parameter, and there's a method in the picture class that will allow you to do that. So now I've got two pictures, Mount Doom and Mount Doom Copy. <clears throat> I make two two-dimensional arrays, copy pixels. This is where I'm going to be putting the modified, the blurred pixel. And this is the original. Right? And uh, again, I uh, oh, this I do not need. This is left over. I should have gotten rid of it. I apologize. Um, I find the length and the width. Now, in my nested loops, I'm going from 1 to length minus 1. So again, I'm not looking at any of the border pixels. Same with column. I'm not looking at any of the pixels around the border of the image, just the pixels inside of that one pixel border. Okay, here's the same idea. I create an array list pixel group, in which I'm going to add the, uh, I actually add the nine pixels. I add the pixel itself in, in here. Um, you could do that or not. That's the pixel that's going to be modified. This one right here, the one at row column. Um, <clears throat> then, um, then I set an integer variable set for red, green, and blue to zero. Then I go and I sum up all the red values from those nine pixels, the blue values, and the green values. Then I um, <clears throat> I divide. Uh, this right here gives me the average. And I'm taking that. I originally did just the average of the pixels plus the uh, plus the pixel in the center, you know, and just average those two values. And I couldn't see any difference in the image. Um, so I, and I, I kept upping 
sort of the, uh, <coughs> the import of the average. I first tried three and I could see a little change, so I went to five. And so by, by weighting the average more, notice that if, if I go to five here, I have to divide by six because I'm counting this five times. Then you do get to get see a little bit of, um, of blurring, a very gentle blurring. Right? I do the same thing for the uh, for the blue and the green. I make a new color with that color. Now I set copy pixels. That's that duplicate two-dimensional array of pixels. I set it the its row and column to this new color. So I'm not modifying the original picture. It's I'm modifying the the copy. And then after. This ends the inner loop, this ends the outer loop. So after I've processed all the pixels, except the border pixels, then I copy back from the uh, copy pixels. I use, I get the color at each of its interior non-border pixels. And I use that to set the color of the pixels in the original image. Okay. And, um, you know, just for fun, let's change this to um, let's change it to ten. So this will be eleven. Ten. Eleven. So I'm really giving the average here a lot of weight, which should cause more blurring. Let's compile that and see what we get. And we'll go to, this is blur two. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, I think it, it, it's more blurred. Um, Let's go in and zoom at 500. Now, it looked about the same as, looks about the same as before. This is the unblurred, this is the blurred. So we're definitely losing detail. Um, it doesn't appear to be that much though. Um, you can actually test this by the way. Um, so if I, like, okay, so this is at 918, and I can see my red, green, and blue values, 47, 46, and 52. If I go here to 9 and 18, same pixel, and it's 56, 52, and 56. So it's definitely, whoops, sorry, 9 and 18. 47, 46, 51, very little change, right? Um, but it, it's definitely that pixel has been modified by the average of its neighbors, okay? So um, so you should come up with some, some um, filters on your own. Um, be creative here. Try Use some of that math, those math skills that you've been you know, developing for years in math class. Um, to uh, to do some work in this in this basically a two-dimensional matrix and then see what you can do. Okay, uh, this is really good practice for you. Really good way to start reviewing for the AP. Okay, thanks.